In episode 91, I talk about using a error code list to help students write an academic text. Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org and today is September 19th, 2021. Before we get into today's topic, if you have any insights or want to share your experiences with providing feedback to students who are practicing the writing skill, feel free to reach out to me at my Twitter handle at B-N-L-E-E-Z. If you'd like to take part in the online community, in the Discord community, feel free to access that link at my website at benjaminlstewart.org. Today, I want to share with you a, an error code list. This is going to be specifically for those students who have me in class who are asked to write any kind of academic text, any kind of text where APA uh, is being used to cite and to include references at the end of the, uh, of the essay or the text. Today, I want to share with you a few codes and the way I tend to use those codes to provide feedback to your writing process. The different codes that I'll be using, I'm going to provide a list. It's usually in the form of a PDF file, but students will be able to, you will be able to access this link. And I suggest if you're new to this list, if you have not seen or heard some of these errors before, it might be worth going over some of these uh, beforehand, certainly refer to this list as you are receiving these codes in your Word document. Now, typically how I provide feedback is uh, students, you will be sharing a, a document, a Word document, where I'll be able to access the uh, document that you're using to develop your academic text, and typically I will leave comments in Word. And uh, sometimes I just leave a code or sometimes I'll provide a code with a little bit of context or a little bit of uh, additional information to, to guide you. So it, it's basically a combination of direct and indirect feedback. If at any time you receive codes, you receive uh, feedback from me, and you're not sure either what it is, what it refers to, or how to fix it, then those are types of questions and discussions we can have either in class, of course, or you can respond in the Word document by asking your question. I usually suggest to, uh, to you that we uh, have a back and forth conversation as needed in Microsoft Word through the comment feature so that you have that feedback, you have that information available if you need to refer to it later. The list, if you're referring to the list, if you're looking at it, you'll see that there are a, a variety of different error codes listed here. Some of the codes are more serious. Some are uh, have more of an impact on how maybe the reader would interpret or understand your text than others. Some of the more common errors that I tend to find are the comma splice. And the, the comma splice... And I'm not going to go into every single error here, but I just want to give you provide. I want to provide you an overview of of what some of the more common errors are, and then uh, later we can discuss more specifically uh, which you know what these errors are. And, and you can get a lot of information on YouTube if you need to as well. We have uh, the comma splice is very common. That's probably one of the most common types of errors I find. Just in general, the overuse of the comma tends to be uh, a challenge for many writers, but certainly the comma splice for academic writing, we want to try to avoid that when we're developing our ideas. Another common uh, type of error is word choice or wrong word. Now, these are two very closely related types of errors. Word choice it simply means, and I'm going to go into a little bit of description in these two because it's it's kind of a, a fine line between these two. They're very similar. Word choice refers to the word that's being used doesn't interfere with the meaning. If I'm looking at a text and I see maybe some awkward uh, choices in terms of the words that are being used, I may use this, this error code WC. 
word choice. When a word is interferes with me, the meaning, or maybe it's not clear at all what the the word is that you intended to use, then WW, wrong word, will be used. Okay, so these are closely related types of errors, but they're very common. One of these two, right, or a combination of both of these are, are very uh, common, but it refers more to the lexical cat- category or a- area of, of your writing. The rest of these uh, do occur. Pronouns, a lot of times uh, writers were over- overuse the pronoun, especially the personal pronoun. It's not to say that you should avoid the personal pronoun, but there are uh, many cases where the it's better to replace the pronoun with either a synonym or maybe a, you, the use of uh, direct repetition or even hyponyms and hypernyms, which is, again, something we can discuss if these are new terms. There are oftentimes better alternatives than using a personal pronoun. Run-on sentences are less of a problem, but uh, be careful with punctuation. Usually, comma splice, comma splices, and sentence fragments and run-on sentences. The way in which you correct those are very similar, and a lot of times it's a combination of word choice and also just the use of punctuation. Okay, a lot of times it's just a problem with punctuation. Then, and usually we can fix these by using the correct punctuation for those types of errors. All right, so you'll notice there are two categories. We've got a list of kind of more specific types of errors from subject verb agreement, verb tense, verb form, word form, all the way down to um, modals, M-O, to stand for modal. And then at the very bottom, we have a different category of of types of errors that deal more with the meal plan, unity, coherence, and cohesion. These are more broad-based types of errors that really relate to organization and and looking more at, at the writing discourse. All right, so this is the error code that I wanted to share with you. This will uh, be in the form of a PDF that will be shared with you. I would save this someplace on your computer or on your mobile device so that you can access it as you need to. And as we get into our writing and I provide feedback and you're becoming more familiar with these errors, uh, you'll, you can depend on this list less and less over time. You'll, these will become familiar. We will be talking about it at length as necessary in our class and outside of class as, as you're developing your academic text. Again, this list of errors is, uh, best used for academic text, right? So if you're writing a creative text, like if you're practicing creative writing and you're writing poetry, you're writing some other, maybe a a short story of some kind, uh, those tend to follow slightly different rules, although some of these errors could also apply, but most of the time this list will be best applied to academic text. I hope this helps. Of course, if you have any questions about using this, list and or the way that the codes are being shared or used in your word document if you need more context more feedback you're not sure what these codes mean these are typical questions that we have and again the best way for those of you who are taking class with me the best way to to ask would be to add your comments directly into your word document or of course bring in bring it up in class as we are talking about it as a whole group. These are types of questions that we can discuss at length. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast, making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.